In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to allocate more RAM to your Star Sector game so that you can mod it all the way to Jangala and back. Just like with our other two tutorials, in order to mod Star Sector any further, you're going to need to find the root directory. On Windows, this is located under your local disk C if you use the default install directory, Program Files 86 by Fractal Softworks, Star Sector, and this is the file we're dealing with today, VM Params. As always, it is highly recommended that you make a backup copy of this, so we're going to copy that file and paste it on our desktop for safekeeping, just in case we break something. Right now, the file is currently not in a format that my computer knows how to understand, so we're going to have to tell it to open itself up with Notepad. You will now be presented with a long and slightly confusing line of code. However, you don't need to deal with any of this except these two values over here. These two values represent the amount of RAM in megabytes available to Star Sector to use. By default, it assigns about 1.5 gigabytes of RAM, however, this isn't going to quite cut it if we want to mod the game any further. Now, it goes without saying that before you increase this number, you need to make sure you have additional RAM to assign. I would not recommend assigning more than 25 to 40% of your system RAM, especially not if you're going to have multiple tabs open in another browser or something while you're playing the game. However, I will leave that up to your discretion. If you're not sure how to detect how much RAM you have, there's a simple way. Head back over to your Windows Explorer, right click on this PC, switch over to more options if you're on Windows 11 or just properties if you're on Windows 10 and lower, and that will show you right over here the amount of installed RAM currently available on your system. In my case, I have 32 gigabytes of RAM available, and that means that I have a whole lot of room to play with. Now, in order to work out what number we need to type in here, we need to do a little bit of simple maths. As we know, one gigabyte is comprised of 1024 megabytes. If I want to assign eight gigabytes of RAM, I simply need to multiply this number by eight. This gives me an answer of 8192 that I need to type into this space over here. Be super, super sure that you do not delete any of the characters before or after the number. If you do, it will not work. Make sure that you also change both values. If you do not do this, it will not work. Once you are done with your file, you now need to save it. In order to do this, we're going to hit Control S or go to File, Save, and we're going to make sure that we do not save it as a text file. This only happens if you're using Notepad. Instead, we're going to select All Files, select on vparam so that we copy its properties, and click Save. Now that we have changed the file, we can go ahead, boot up Star Sector, and attempt to play the game as before. If the game crashes on start, simply replace the vparams file and try again. If this seems like too much hassle for you and you would rather just replace the file with one that has been pre-configured, I will link you to a forum post in the pinned comment and the description that will take you to five different values you can pre-install. 1.3 gigabytes, 2 gigabytes, 3 gigabytes, 4 gigabytes, 6 gigabytes, and 8 gigabytes. And congratulations! Once again, you have made changes to Star Sector successfully. Yay! If you enjoyed this tutorial or in any other way found it helpful, please place your mouse button atop the subscribe and like buttons and press down at least once, not twice, perhaps thrice. Thrice is also fine. If there are any other features of Star Sector you would like to see me explain, if there are any other questions you might have, please leave them down in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.